just pulled up the airport, waiting on Alec to come on out, the winner of the, the Razor. We've got quite the uh, caravan going today. We've got uh, my Red Runner with the sleds in the back. And then over here, we've got the Land Cruiser. I will take that. Yeah, I knew you would. My okay. diesel fuel for the day. And then on the back, we've got the Razor. As you guys know, I promised the winner of the uh, Razor giveaway that we would not only hand the keys over to the orange regret, but we'd also do some fishing. Here he comes now. What's up, Alec? How's it going, man? You look warm at least, that's good. <laughs> I was concerned you weren't gonna bring uh, warm clothes, but you're, you're oh, set no. and ready to go. Sure. You ready? <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> you're excited, man. This oh, is your diesel you. fuel for the day. So, Alec landed late last night. We actually grabbed a quick, uh, quick bite at Applebee's. Such a clutch spot. And we kind of talked over the game plan. You kind of have an idea what we're doing today. Yep. Rip around some very expensive, fast vehicles. Hopefully they don't break. <laughs> and then along with that, we're going to do a little bit of ice fishing. Going after a fish that you guys always seem to love uh, every time we chase after them, that being Northern Pike, which some Mainers hate and some Mainers love. But we are fully rigged. I spent all night rigging rods. Got eight setups ready to go. All we need to do is get some lines in the water and get these, uh, these tools ready to go. So. Let's just have a day. I'll meet you guys out in the ice. Alec asked me this last night. He's like, was this planned? And the reason why he asked that is because <laughs> Alec actually races side-by-sides. You don't do razors. You do your own custom build. Yeah, we do. Like from the ground level up side-by-sides. He's based out of California, but you do a lot of racing in Nevada. Yep. Which is just so weird. Like this all worked out for a reason. I was so... Not concerned, but I just wanted somebody to really appreciate the side by side because I couldn't appreciate it to its fullest. I'm actually frightened of this thing. I love it, it's fun, but someone else like Alec needed to have this thing. I'm a liability behind the wheel. Uh, we're gonna take ice fishing today. Also, just so happens his racing team colors are orange and it's the orange regret. So <laughs> now your orange regret. We're gonna. It's gonna stay that way too. Oh, we're gonna leave it that name. I as love well. it. I love it, man. We're gonna get this thing started up, get the sluds. Get a lot of horsepower on the ice today. I'm very stoked. You pump? Oh yeah, let's, let's do it. Crush it. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. It bounced. All right, start her up. All right. Starts. Yeah. I gotta eat my Sammy. Yeah, that's good. Alec, have you ever caught a northern pike? I have not. I have not. A lot of firsts. You know what? <laughs> we're gonna check it off the list too. <laughs> Love that. What we're fishing for today, obviously, is northern pike. A couple different types of bait you can use. I like big shiners, big golden shiners, and suckers. I also like dropping them in the bottom of my sled, and then I can't find them later. Get back here, you little stinky. Usually, I use big treble hooks, heavy line. A lot of guys like doing steel. I like using like heavy fluorocarbon. Just preference. It doesn't matter. I'm sure you know like kind of the concept of this. Like, fish takes it, that flag goes up, you reel it in. Hopefully, it's a giant pike. We went over 35 inches today. That's kind of the goal, and that's not really asking much. We were getting a lot of strikes in like eight foot, but it really all depends. I just want to kind of experiment with some depth. So we'll start off with. Can find some. Yeah, we'll start off like three foot there, and then kind of work our way to five then eight and then maybe back shallow again because there's the river inlet okay so you actually have technically you've got current over there right where that buoy's at there we go this is tip up number two we did shiner now we're doing sucker that's what it'll look like basically yep. Where? Far, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, okay. All right, I'll just rip with you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It 
could be the suckers. Oh no, that's yeah. something hit it. See how it's kind of on the side? Uh -huh. I don't see any, it's not spinning. We'll just give it a second. Sometimes they hit it and they run and they drop it. Yeah, like if there was a fish, that would be sideways. Oh, it looks kind of sideways. No, it's just the sucker. Let's see what he looks like. He's totally fine. I think these suckers are just... They're just so they're big that they're... they're, they're yeah, moving. they're moving. These are really light flags, too. Uh, but there is a bit of line taken out. Don't go off unless it's after fight. All right, let's <laughs> try that again. Good eye, though. Good call. That bob was all the way over here, so whatever just oh, after that. Bob. I just saw that tip move. Yeah, that's the sucker you still have. Might be a little guy that just got some big eyes. Do it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Had a feeling he had it the whole time. Wow, of course, a pickerel takes the biggest sucker I had and now it's toasted. That really makes me sad because I was I was saving that big sucker for a big pike. I guess who took it, Mr. Pickerel. All right, back down you go. Thanks for absolutely nothing. Well, it's start, right? Yep, it is. I'm glad I took it and you didn't because that's not a very <laughs> fun fish. That's not a good first ice fish to catch. All right, Alex? You I definitely agree. don't want, I mean, I'd rather have a micro perch than something like that. But it's a start, it's a good sign, and even though I may have just lost my biggest sucker to a pickerel, at the very least is a step in the right direction. We know there's fish here. So between the two of us, I, as far as I can count what they have, they've got eight, we've got eight. That's not, that's not nine of theirs. 17 flags out right now, and an area where there is surely at least one bike. Where? Yeah. Where? <laughs> Keep rolling, keep rolling. Hey, it's a pickerel. It's your first fish <laughs> of the ice. We'll take it. It is. <laughs> That's sick. Second pickerel of the day. We're freaking out here doing it. <laughs> hey, it may not be the one we're after, but this is now considered something. your, yeah, it's yep. something. It's considered your first fish through the ice ever. That's huge. Sweet. You want to try to hold them? Yeah. Have you ever caught a pickerel? Nope. There so you it's, go. Wow, it's, that's, another, it's another bucket list. It's a species. Do, uh... Yeah. Lots of bucket lists, snowmobile, uh, ice fishing, uh, pickerel, Definitely first time in Maine. The trip I will always remember. Yeah, oh yeah. All right, thanks little dude. Nice one. It's a bite. We will take it. Let's set this line back up. Oh, that's so cool. Well, I shouldn't come back. He's like, hey man, uh, you know, don't really want the razor anymore. Is it cool if I just take your salt? <laughs> he just trades it in like I'm a dealership. I'm practically a motorsports dealership at this race. Three sleds, two side-by-sides, eventually just one. Two cars, two boats. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it, I've got way too much. What do you think? That's pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, he said it's pretty badass. I also agree. <laughs> Up on the like up just a little bit, it's like a little scary, but oh, you could, you could do a pretty hard wheelie on it. Oh, you gotta give her. Yeah, yeah, the skis went up. The skis went up. That was good. That was good. Oh, if the bite's slow, at least you can go fast. Play with the toys. I was telling him you're gonna get back from that rip and you're like, hey man, let's negotiate. You can keep the razor, <laughs> I take the assault. <laughs> there was snow in California, 100%. <laughs> you just need sand. You just need a sand and then- And then I'll burn the belt. Yeah, well, you, you need one that's fan cooled so you don't have to worry about cooling the tunnel. Play some bets, what do you think? I think it's either a minnow 
getting his wings, <laughs> or it's a pickerel, or if we get really lucky, it's a 40 inch pike that is just sitting there right under the hole. <laughs> But pickerel. normally, yeah, I'm going to put $100,000 on pickerel. Oh, that's a big <laughs> bet there, man. Yeah. So let me spit on my hand and shake yeah. your hand real quick. Is that? Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay. It's way down in there. He's got it. Though. Okay. How does it feel? Good? Small. Keep rolling. Oh, keep bringing him up. Keep bringing him up. Hey, look at that. It's made me our <laughs> turn back. $100,000 on pickerel. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> You want a picture of this one? <laughs> you, yeah. know, you know what we're gonna name this one? Flare. Eagle bait. <laughs> Flare. <laughs> Flare. That's a good name. All right, here's our little pickerel. We're gonna let him eat his little snack too. Normally I'm not very nice to these guys, but today I'm feeling generous. And there he goes, sinking down the hole like a rock. You got good eyes. I told this you, two, I got eagle eyes. This two flags, Alex, Alec is called. We're gonna have to... We have to keep putting these, putting these minnows down here. I mean, pickerel just means life, and life is good. Life is what you make. I feel like the man's at. I can't see a way out. I've been stretching face down on canvases. I paint it. I just spent the rain day. I'm drip. I can't afford, but that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places. I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it. This life is so crazy. That's why I almost gave it. All this that I'm laying. Yeah, that's only the foundation. Well, I think Alec has a new favorite toy. You happy with it? Oh, more than happy. <laughs> As you may be able to tell, he's a little bit better at driving than I am. Uh, I noticed you didn't flip it or anything like that. It's called skill. Oh, skill. <laughs> Something your boy does not have. Anyway, the snow's starting to come, and uh, we had some fun ripping around the, the razor and the salt. Now it's time to pack things up. I thought for sure we'd get that last minute pike. At the very least, Alec got a chance to catch two fish. Under the ice, half glass full mentality. That's how you guys always got to think. Even though it may not be the day you anticipated, it's still a day. And that's what we're all about here at Camp Claw, having a day. So I'm going to pack these rods up, uh, get out of this flurry before it gets too nasty, and we'll meet you guys back at camp. Whew. Welcome back, wieners. We are at camp. That was quite an eventful day of ice fishing. Turns out that... Uh, the last ice fishing trip of the season is gonna be one of these. But, like Alex said, it's all about the experience. I love this dude's positive outlook on just about everything. We had great company today. Uh, we got to rip around some machines, do some fun stuff, do donuts in the snow, go like 100 miles an hour on sleds. So, I mean, you can't really beat that. What did you think of ice fishing, first time ever doing it? Oh, it was a blast. Yeah. Although we didn't catch anything, or we caught a few. Nothing but big, at least. Not what we wanted to yeah. catch, so. The fun, the fun part was when he got behind the wheel of the razor. <laughs> I wonder how those shots turn out because it was, it looked sick from my point of view. I was on the sled, I was on the salt, just watching him do his thing. Cause this is what Alex does frequently. I mean, you know how to drive these machines. Yep. I'm just the dunce that grabbed the keys from the dealership and was like, all right, now I own a razor. But um, yeah, as promised, the whole contest entailed a razor, which you have now, and then a day at Camp Claw. And that's why we are back here at camp we're gonna rip the razor around a little bit more. Um, also too, kind of exciting, the, the guys are, are working on the barn back there. So once we're done ripping around the razor, I'll show you guys an update of the barn. I know a lot of you have been interested and eager to know what is going on with the bass barn, the main bass barn. And I think Alex and I are gonna go for a, a rip on the, on the famous trail in which I almost totaled the razor. Cut to that clip. Well, here we are. It's gonna be a good time. This will basically be my last ride in the Razor before it leaves Maine and goes all the way to California. It was a good run, but uh, I'm afraid if I if I own you for any longer, you will die. You will probably explode into a thousand million pieces of math. All the viewers will hate me, so I figured it's time to hand the keys off to someone a little more responsible. It's gonna be exciting to see what Alec does with this. He already has some ideas, bigger tires, maybe different suspension, uh, different shocks. He says he likes the color though, which is cool. The color is what makes this thing. It's the orange regret. You can't change the color on the orange regret. You ready to go for a quick rip? I'm ready, let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right, 
this feels weird. I'm in the passenger seat of the Razor. This is, this is a feeling I've never really felt before. Usually, I'm the one that's going fast and someone else is screaming. It's an ATV trail, but right now, 99% of Mainers are using it for snowmobiling. Um, and we're gonna rip this thing in the snow because you're from California. You might as well take full advantage of the fact that there's yep. white, cold stuff on the ground and spin those tires, so. feels to be a passenger with John B. Only Alec actually knows how to drive this thing. We were even, what was the fastest we went there? Like not even maybe 30, uh, 20? Not even. Not 20. even. But just how wet the snow is right now, it felt like we were just had no control. I've never driven this thing well on snow, let alone on dry uh, gravel or concrete. <laughs> it absolutely crushed it i think on that note the razor the orange regret now belongs to alec wow that was so much fun that little rip on the trail was kind of exciting nice little breath of fresh air from a slow day of fishing definitely live in the mood energized the day yeah got stuck once or twice but nothing that the uh the razor can't handle first time i've ever seen this thing in, in action in person in the snowy tundra speaking of snow it's starting to come down right now so we're gonna head on side grab some food and then we're gonna go check out the barn which you guys have been asking about a lot in the comment section below. Oh, so freaking good. Nothing like a little girl in, in the snow. So as promised, before we close out today's video, I wanna give you guys an update of the main barn. This is what they worked on today, which is pretty sweet. Every single day, it's a new piece to the barn puzzle. I'll have to come up here real quick to show you guys. I don't know when they're gonna put walls in this thing, but hopefully soon because, um, well, there's there's a bit of a bit of snow in here. So it looks like what they did today was they worked on this railing, which is actually really nice. This is gonna be great for anyone who sleeps up here. You don't have to worry about like obviously falling over because that's quite the drop. As far as I can tell, I'm pretty sure that's the only thing they really worked on today. I mean, I'm talking on my ass. There's probably something technical they did that I can't see or notice. It beats me, but these rails are sweet. All right, well, it wasn't much of an update, honestly. They, they did. Uh, the rails maybe and a few other things. I also want to give a huge thank you to everyone who purchased the Camp Claw merch and uh, participated in the contest. It was so awesome hanging out with Alec today. I think he's having fun up in Maine, especially given the fact that he's from the West Coast. This is definitely a change of pace for him and uh, it's just fun. Meeting new people, especially people who support the channel so much like you guys watching right now. And if you want to see more contests like this, whether we give away a side-by-side -side or a boat or maybe it's just like another day at Camp Claw or a fishing day in Texas, let us know in the comments. We'll make it happen. I don't know, this was fun. This was really cool. I know it took a long time to get to this point. The contest I think was like last summer, but we're here now and it's it's snowing, but it was all worth it. It was all fun. Anyway, I got these Scriz amps and jalapeno poppers to attend to. So I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thank you so much for the view. I appreciate it. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. Mm -hmm.